Good morning everyone and welcome to Natique in Elk Grove, California and NatiqueYarns.com coming to you live on Thursday. It is another nice clear day here where it feels like fall in the morning and really just feels like late summer by midday. I think we're yeah. supposed to be 83 today. That'll be good. So we're going down the skosh, but I want it to be like, you know, 70s. That would be awesome. Because in the 70s, I just can turn the air conditioning unit off yeah. entirely and just leave the doors open 24-7. It's Security awesome. screens closed, obviously, but, you know, it's nice, fresh air. All right, it is slow to connect to people this morning. It looks like they're trickling in. They're coming. I can see them popping on. I like your new nails. Oh, thank you. It has like Christmas nails. You no, guys. they're not. They're fall. They're, like, they're orange. Well, right here, they're red and then green. Well, that's the top coat that makes it yeah. do that. You guys can't see it, but the <laughs> hand that's holding the camera is at just the right angle that it's making them red and green. And she's like, no. No, look at the other hand. It's orange. Yeah, that one's very fall. This one's Christmas. <laughs> you have fall and Christmas all together. My fingers are confused. Good morning, good morning. So we have a fun-filled video for you guys this morning. We'll talk about our grand prize, which only a couple more days left to get entered in that one. Give away a daily prize. Talk about some scrumptious new yarn that we just restocked. Classes, what we're wearing, and then we'll sign off, open the store, and everybody will have a wonderful day. Good morning, good morning. So for our grand prize, we have the fabulous Evening Glow Poncho Pattern, which is a all stockinette fabric, just knit a row, purl a row, that you're striping and you're just changing how many rows of each color you're doing to get this really fun stripe sequence where it goes from wider, like in this one, it's wider dark blue and skinny variegated up to wide variegated and skinny dark blue. In your prize, you're going to get one full skein of the Buge the Bu I combined beautiful. beautiful and gorgeous. <laughs> it's the Buges. <laughs> ah, Pickle. Yeah. The beautiful, gorgeous um, Black Butte is a yak blend. The yak is what gives it that gorgeous kind of warm brown gray heather color. And then that comes with, because this is one of the small fry kits, that comes with these fabulous mini skeins in a full rainbow of beautiful colors. Um, the purple has a little bit of glitter in it. So the nice thing with the minis is it's kind of letting you sample the various um, mini skeins that Alexandra has, as well as the various yarn bases. Thank you, Helen. Because um, she has one with glitter. She has ones that are more of like a traditional sock yarn. Those are the ones that you see dye a little more tonal with the highs and lows. And then she has one that is like an all wool one, I believe. And that's what these three are. So you get to sample all of her fabulous fingerings. We do have the small fry kits here in the store if you can't handle waiting to see if you are the lucky winner. But how you get entered into the grand prize is every time you make a purchase from the 1st through the 15th of October, you get one entry. It's cumulative, so if you purchase five times, you get five entries. If you purchase 10 times, you get 10 entries. And then because the 15th is Saturday, on Tuesday, October 18th, we will draw to see who the actual winner is. Just know we do not come in on our days off. No. We hide in our houses and knit. Yes. Well, at least I try to. But, yeah. You know, usually there's also, you know, appointments <laughs> and somebody needs to mow the yard. Life gets in the way of knitting. I'd like to say I knit for two days straight, but I do rarely actually get to do that. <laughs> I usually have to run away to the coast if I want to do that, for yeah. sure. And then I gallivant all over the cliffs and don't get two <laughs> days of knitting done either. 
Okay, so for our daily prize, we have this really fun DK weight cowl called La Mer de Carre. It is a, I think it's a four row repeat of which two of them are all knit. You have one round that decreases and then one round that increases back up to give you this little kind of waffle eyelet pattern. Doing this one's fun because you're like, how in the heck is this going to work? It doesn't make sense that it, it, it doesn't, doesn't end up tight. You right. Know? Like you'd think it would make it really small or puckered because of the decrease. Like you cut literally cut the stitches in half in one row and then increase it back up to the original number in the second row. And somehow that just makes this nice, it, beautiful. It works. Fabric. It's not puckered. It's not crazy. It's just gorgeous. And we have it paired with this full skein of, this is Juniper Moon Farm Patagonia, which is 100% wool. It just happens to be missing its tag. It's funny, this morning oh. I found just the string in it. <laughs> the tag is gone, I'm sorry. But Patagonia is a very nice sport weight wool yarn. And this is one of the fun kind of polka dotted variegated colors. Very fall with the golds and the rose pink and the forest green. That is really pretty. And I really think this stitch pattern is going to break up the little bit of pooling that you would get for this one and make it a really pretty fall cowl. You know how fun that would be in Art Yarn Spots? Mm-hmm. Okay, Pat, oh. I see you want to try it. Could you could you do that for you us know, so we, we can see a picture? A yarn. <laughs> we do. I'm looking at Susan, and she's looking at me like, don't look at me like that. I'm looking at Karen. <laughs> um... That would be really fun. Though. Actually, I was... Ooh, the electric slide spots. Yeah, I was trying to figure out, can we do it on the machine as a stole? Is it, you know, a convertible? No, it would be because of the pearl the way and you the pick... knit. Like, oh, it's, got, it's been a long time you'd since I've... You'd have to I've... do a lot of hand-manipulated stitches. I don't think it would be faster. Okay, never mind. I forgot there were pearls in it. So how you get entered into the daily prize? Every time you react to our video in some way, hold on, I'm grabbing links too. Um, so if you, there we go. If you um, react with like, love, care, ha ha, etc., any of those gets you one entry per click. I think I'm pretty funny, so I'm gonna give myself a couple ha ha's, um, and then. If you comment on the video, then you get five entries per comment. Minor brownie points, don't worry. Uh, and then if you share the video, which is the fastest way to get entries, this little swoosh arrow in the corner, share to your stories. You can share to your friends. Then every share gets you 11 entries if you remember to come back to the video and comment shared to my stories, shared to my friends, whichever ones you do, just make sure you come back and comment for each one. And then you get 11 entries for each of those shares. And then that all gets compiled the next day into our handy dandy random comment picker. Where did it go? Uh, and we'll see who our lucky winner is. Oh, Cindy Fasano. Oh, excellent. Cindy, we know you're local, so you can come visit us at the boutique and say, I have a prize, and we will get it out of the cabinet. And if you win and you're not local, or Cindy, you just can't wait, and you want it right in the mail, we can do that. Let us know in the notes you have a prize, and we will put it in the package and ship it. And yes, I think I'm um, encouraging all of you with this well, pistachio so cherry delicious. and triple cherry nut. I think this one is my favorite. The pistachio? Yeah. Oh, yes, because pistachios. I know, right? And cherries. Although I think there are pistachios in the other one. I think it's just I a think so. wide yeah, they're right there. array of nuts in that it's one. It's like that one's got some almonds as well. It's a little nutty. Wow. It wasn't me this time, everyone. I want that for the record. This is why Anna's <laughs> not allowed to quit her day job. She says she's Oh, I know. You need some caramel to go with your nuts and cherries. 
because I'm a little nutty too. Or those um, chocolate bars, because I just oh. sampled one this morning. Yes. And they are so wow. good. I think the brown butter is my favorite. What's yours, Anna? Um, you know what? So far, it's my favorite too. I've only sampled the brown butter and the sea salt. Mm. And the brown butter is amazing. I helped someone sample yesterday, and I'm like, well, I better try them all because, you know, I can't give an honest opinion if I haven't tried them all. I didn't want to, I've been separating it. Like, I tried one yesterday, and I tried <laughs> one today. Because it's like, I need a whole day to palate cleanse so that I can really uh, just concentrate on what does this one taste like versus stacking up all the chocolates. I stacked them. If you like dark chocolate, that Nicaragua one is the way to go. Oh, yes. If you're a, the darker, the better. Go for that one. Yes. But see, the sea salt is really good, too. And I'm not usually a sea salt chocolate person, but it was good. It's mellow on the sea salt. It it's is, not yeah. not like, holy heck, this is salty. Yeah, my first piece was, oh my gosh, that is salty, but it was a good salty. And then the second one was, next day was like, not quite as salty, but it's still good. Okay. Yarn. Amazing yarn time. We restocked one of our favorite fall yarns because it is so lightweight and fluffy and very, very warm. This is Concept by Katia Ultralight Merino. It is a 93% virgin wool, which means the first shearing. The first shearing is always the softest because Can't the fiber has only on been one. cut once. What, what do you need this stuff? Yeah, I was going to show them that, but it's a little... Let me just pull it out. Um, and then it is 7% polyamide, which is essentially nylon. That gives it some elasticity and structure so that if you're knitting things like garments, they hold their shape well. It is a bulky weight yarn, 120 yards per skein. Hand wash, lay flat to dry, or dry clean if you're so inclined. That takes too long for me. I just want it washed. Yeah. And this first color that you guys are getting to drool over here is color 59, which is a really pretty like maple leaf red with the black fiber blown through the chainette core. Like you can really see right here how the little fluffs of black are trapped inside of the red tube. So you're getting like kind of a heathered tweed look with very, very soft fibers. This is very pretty. It's got a good sheen. It kind of glows too. I think that's the um, nylon gives it the little bit of sheen. It does almost have like a silky look to it. It does. Then if we'd like to keep the fall theme going. There's the beautiful color 58 with this deep rust color. See, that one matches. So see, it really is fall color orange. Yeah, it's just something about the angle. I don't yeah. know what it was reflecting <laughs> off of, but it was making you very Christmassy on the other hand. Now I have to go around all day. I'm like, eh, how did I do it? Yeah, like, where did I come from? Well, you know, you just have to stand right there. And, hold, and then I can't see it. <laughs> I'll take a picture. Okay. <laughs> we can go a little more golden with color 57, which... What's fun with this one is they didn't do the black because, you know, black and gold kind of creates like that bumblebee look and it makes it a little more specific in what it can be. So they did like a taupe for the blown in fiber. So you get a much more subtle contrast, but still that pretty marled look to the colors. I really like that when with this yarn, they thought about what would look best for the blown in fiber, that it's not too contrasty. Did we ever find a video of how they do that? Danielle said Juan has one, and I need her to get him to part with it. And yeah. Let me see it. We want to know. I just, I'm one of those, how's it made people? I just want to know <laughs> that I'm okay. I'm like, okay, I'm done now. Yeah. 
I'm not gonna go share it with anybody. I just had to know. Okay, so found some fun projects for you guys this morning. This Pure Fuzz by Skandier Knits is one where she had double-stranded yarns, but this yarn would work beautifully by itself. I wanna click on some of the people's projects just because Skandier's is in such a dark color, you can't see it very well. But just this simple silhouette, classic sweater, ribbing on the neckline and the cuffs. That is very cute. And it's really cool. It's like none of the pictures are quite crisp enough, but the increased line on it is very subtle. It has what looks to me like the contiguous sleeves, which have a really good fit. It helps keep it from falling off your shoulders when you have a wider neck like this. But just a really cute, simple sweater. I like that this gal did the ribbing on the bottom and the cuffs in a contrast color. I mean, it may have been a yarn shortage thing, but it looks really cute. So if you play your cards right with your yarn shortages, you can make it look like it was intentional. And it has sizes from a 31 to a 62 and only takes 700 to 1100 yards. So that's six to 10 skeins. Oh yeah, contiguous. It does have oh, that nice. shaping. That is my absolute favorite sweater shaping. If I could figure out in my head how to modify like every sweater I'm knitting with that <laughs> shaping, I would do it every time because it just makes a better fit. I have one sweater done with that. I need to bring it in and because I know we talked about maybe doing a class on that technique. Mm. I have to bring it in and be like, Danielle, is this too complex of a class? Because it's got a lot of other steps to the one that I did. So that's pure fuzz. Or if you want a quick knit, there's the squirty squirty. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Sorry. That was painful. I know. <laughs> um, Squarchy is just this really cute, simple beanie, little twisted one by one ribbing on the bottom. And then this is just a slip stitch. So it's all knit. And one row you're going to like knit six, slip one, knit six, slip one. I don't know if it's six. I'm guessing. Uh, very easy. They've got this decreases in between the slip stitch columns so that they come together in this nice star at the top. That one's actually a free pattern and only takes one skein. So if you're needing to whip out some holiday gifts on a budget, this is a great choice because it only takes one skein and the pattern didn't cost you anything. Don't worry, there are lots more colors if you haven't seen your color yet. Jackie, correct, you would not need to double strand this yarn. Yes, they double stranded like two fuzzy fingerings, like a mohair type yarn. But with this bulky yarn, because it's knitted a bulky gauge, it already has the fuzzy look and it already fills in the space for that gauge. So it's perfect and will make a fabulously lightweight sweater. That's a win-win. Right? This one is a real subtle color. This is color 68. It's like a blush, kind of that coral. And with this one, they didn't do any contrast really in the blown in fiber. It's the same shade. So you're just getting that gorgeous fuzzy look without the colorful. Because what color would you put with that that wouldn't distract from that color? I don't know. It's coming out darker on the camera. Hopefully it's okay on yeah, the screen. The camera's making it look silly putty almost, like that color, but it's much softer than that. Can I call it coral melon? Yeah. Yeah. Then if you want a really soft classic fuzzy sweater pink. This is what I always <laughs> think of for the fuzzy yeah. sweaters. Color 69, that soft, soft baby girl ballet pink. Just always makes me think of those like cashmere sweaters that, you know, everybody had one. I swear everybody had a pink one. Am 
like, did they only come in pink? Is that why? What? Maybe. <laughs> what was the deal? Or why? Why do I remember it that way? Everybody does. Then, if you want a deeper pink, here's color fifty three, which essentially looks like it has almost the same shade core as the soft pink, but then they did the blown in fiber in this kind of orchid color. So it really deepens the shade down a lot. That one's pretty amazing. Anybody have a favorite color yet? And I say yet yeah, because we have a long way to go. Oh yes. I just gotta pop in some links here to show you guys a couple more projects I found. This one Susan will recognize because <laughs> yeah. we had this sample in the store in pink for I don't know how long. It, it was it's a long time. before I was, but it was <laughs> here for a very, very long time. Really cute kids jacket with the raglan shaping and then there's an increase right after every one of these ridges to give it that flared shape. Just so cute. They can wear it forever. So this person added a hood to theirs. <laughs> or maybe it's a bonnet. But look how cute it is. And this is the kind of thing that you want for kids' knits because they grow really fast. So you want fast knitting. Um, this one is on size 10 needles. Only takes two to five skeins and goes from a zero to three months to a three, four T size all in one pattern. This is a fun one. I remember knitting one too because I think we had to replace the sample. because Probably. It was an old yarn. And I think we knitted it in pink again. I think it was like this sweater just had to, <laughs> it had to be pink. It'd be super cute in the little light pink. Yes. And there are coming up some good boy colors too, because it's very much a sweater that can be either or. It's just a simple jacket. Then this one for the crocheters, a super cute cowl. But look at this stitch. It looks wow. a lot like the one on that pumpkin class we just did, but I think it's a little different. But really fun, squishy stitch that paired with a squishy yarn like this will just make a really lovely fabric. It has three sizes considered to be toddler, child, adult. It's really just going to be the length and how tall the cowl is. And it only takes one skein for any of the sizes, really. The adult, you probably wouldn't be able to make it this super tall height. But unless you live somewhere crazy cold, you don't really need that. You can stop it like the six inches like we usually do. So you can easily get away with one skein. That's the Little Arrows Cowl by Sarah Ruan, I think. One skein or two if you want a tall one. Okay, let me scoot these back because we have more amazing colors. We have a fabulous mint green, color 64. I know at least one person who is watching who would love <laughs> this color. Yes. Very soft, kind of that winter green, and it just has the softest of like cream highlights. So again, they kind of did very subtle in the blown in fiber so that it's not high contrast and doesn't detract from that beautiful green. Then we have color 51, which is a gorgeous teal with more of like the cord is softer more on the turquoise side and then the blown in fiber is more teal so you're getting that kind of 
muted teal with just a little bit of bold. And it really is teal, because once again, cameras are weird. We really need a filter to fix that. Somebody needs to make yeah, one. Yeah, somebody needs to find like a little clip-on filter that I can slap yeah. over my lenses there. I swear since I did the iOS update, I swear it's worse than oh, it was. Oh, charming. Which, you know, these companies, all of them do it. It's not just Apple. But yeah. They do that so that you'll buy the new one. Because <laughs> you start getting cut up yeah. with the old one that it's not as good. Right. But there were a lot of things with the update that I really liked. So, so far they, they haven't convinced me. Plus, this <laughs> one's paid for. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Free phone, expensive phone. Which one mm. leaves me room to buy more yarn? Keeping Keep this phone. one. <laughs> Keep old phone, buy new yarn. This one's pretty. Color 52 for the purple people is a really pretty silver lilac with the darker lavender blown in. So you're getting the highs and lows of kind of the same shade. Or if you're more of like kind of a plummy purple person, we have color number 67, which is kind of a soft red violet. It has the little bit of pinkish highlights to it, but is still definitely in the purple family. It would match um, your sweater today, Susan. It would. A lot of them would match. It kind of matches yours. I know it's different, yeah. but it works. It does, actually. I mean, look. Okay, you need a purple project. Need a little, like, bolero. Yeah. little bolero to go over it or something. Or, as soon as I link this, the next thing that I'm going to link, which is this offhand lace shawl by Caitlin French. It is a fun and simple triangle shawl. There's just garter stitch, stockinette, yarn over knit two togethers. Looks like um, seed stitch, garter, stockinette, yarn over knit two together. Seed stitch, garter, stockinette, yarn over knit two together. So you're repeating four stitch patterns that are all very simple, but because you're repeating them and changing often, it kind of keeps the on board situation at bay um makes it a very fun knit soft and squishy nice and big shawl like it is three skeins it's done on a size 15 wow you could knit this in a weekend karen probably do it in a night yeah yes, well that was well. 19s but eh, give, right, her we'll two give her nights. two nights for this one <laughs> Karen, come get your next project. Oh, she has two options. One has ribbing and the other has seed stitch. Hmm. So you can pick which one you want when nice. you're downloading the pattern. Finish size 80 inches across and 30 inches deep at the center. If that sounds too big, just get two skeins. Go till you're almost out of yarn. All good. But man, that would be a quick knit. A thousand projects, that's awesome. Right? You know there's more than that, because, right. you know, lots of us are really bad about putting our projects on Ravelry, myself included. Okay, this one I was super excited to find, because Stephanie Aaron is an amazing crochet garment designer. And most of her stuff's in tiny yarn. So to find a bulky weight yarn one <laughs> that doesn't, I mean, it doesn't look like it's this big, heavy sweater. It looks like a nice, cozy sweater. I just think it would be amazing out of this yarn. It's got the super cute, deep V-neck. The sleeves are a little big for me, but that's an easy fix. You just do a shallower armhole, and then that leaves it so there's less stitches to use for your sleeve but just kind of a little bit oversized v-neck sweater 
you can see it has these gorgeous kind of stripey ridges in it in the texture of the stitch pattern. And it only takes like 10, so crochet always takes a little more yardage, but it only takes like 10 to um, like 15 skeins, I think, um, on an L hook, which would be super fast, sizes 30 to 62 which that's something I don't see much in crochet designs is they don't do as many sizes. So if you're in love with crochet and want to make sweaters, look up Stephanie Aaron because her stuff's amazing. If she needs to do a book, I would buy it. Even if I never make anything out of it because <laughs> that's what happens with most of my books. Yep. It would be worth it to have it on the shelf just to pick, pull down and look at once in a while. We have a noisy neighbor. I don't know if you guys can well, hear that. I working on something because yeah. I heard like saw type sounds this mm. morning. Lots of banging right now. Okay. Now if you need neutral colors, we've got those too. We have everything. Color 54 which is a cream with the taupe blown in. So you're getting that kind of soft sand color. Or if you need more of a brown, there is color 55, which kind of starts with more of the taupe color and then has a soft chocolate brown blown in. So you're getting kind of a fawn out of the mix of those two. If you need some gray, there is a pewter color number 63. Um, Helen, this yarn is 120 yards per ball, which is amazing in a bulky weight yarn. Normally a hundred gram skein is about a hundred yards. This, that, this tells you how lightweight this yarn is. This 50 gram ball is 120 yards. It's more than twice the yardage for half the weight. And last but not least, this one's actually one of my favorites because it's a goes with everything color and I really like the contrast of the colors. This is color 61, which is a pewter with charcoal. I just really see something out of like Ooh, that's these pretty. two. Yeah. I didn't pull up any blanket patterns today because it is a hand wash yarn, but gosh, that would be a gorgeous blanket and it would probably be worth it. I like those two. The purple and the gray? Yeah. I'm sure there's some two color cowl patterns out there. Yeah, I didn't pick any two color things this morning. They were all... We'll see if I can find thing. some when I do the collective posting. Susan is the Link Ninja for a reason, so I'm sure <laughs> she will find us some more. But a couple more fun projects, and I know for a hand wash yarn it feels a little silly to do this, but they're small, they're easy to wash, you just throw them in the sink. Uh, I love this slipper pattern, it's my favorite slipper pattern that I've done because you don't have to worry about felting it, you just knit it and you're done, and they're very easy and fast. They're called the Better Dorm Boots. They're garter stitch on the bottom and then stockinette with your decrease shaping across the edges of the foot and then ribbing at the top. You can see in this picture kind of how they're constructed. So they're worked in one piece from the bottom up and you end up whip stitching a seam on the bottom. So it's a nice flat seam. And then they just, they fit really nice. I made a bunch of these one year. We did a class on these once a long time ago. But yeah, that's the Wayback Machine. And this would only take, um, let's see, because they used worsted held double. It's going to take hmm. one skein for any of the sizes. Nice. And she has variations on this pattern. Uh, so like 
This is the Better Dorm Boot Slippers, which is more of like the women's feet sizes of small, medium, large, extra large. Uh, but then over here, this green one, if we click on that one, that is the Better Dorm Boots for men. And those you're gonna need one skein for the smallest size, two skeins for the rest. And it has men's small, which is eight to nine, medium, nine and a half, 10 and a half, large, extra large, which is a 13. And I think she even has them for little people sizes if you click hmm. through her projects. So you could make slippers for the whole family. And slippers are small enough that it's not a big deal to hand wash them. Throw them in a bowl or in the sink with a little soak, swish them around, let them sit, squeeze them out, lay them flat. The end. Absolute favorite slipper pattern if you guys want to knit slippers and want my opinion. Last but not least for patterns today, we have the Oxbow Cardigan by Andrea Mowry. Um, I like this one because with this yarn, you don't want something with a lot of patterning. You're not going to see really fancy details like cables, but this just has like a double moss stitch texture, which just gives a really nice overall kind of woven look to the sweater. So it would look lovely in this yarn and it would be so soft and squishy. This would be one of those sweaters that you would never want to take off. It's got the big wide shawl collar, the two by two rib on the cuffs. It's just so cute. Andrea Mowry must live somewhere Mm -hmm. close to the forest because she always has such great pictures and clearly ropes friends into <laughs> some modeling because like, there's even little kid sizes on the sweater. Boy, I wish I could have made that one mine more little. Right? They That's really so cute. cute. So the children's size goes from a 12 months to a 12 years and the women's sizes go from a 30 to a 54 inch and the men's sizes go from a 34 to a 54. So she included wow. all the fits, all the people. Here's a men's one so you guys can see it on a guy. We're not making it up. A man will really wear this sweater. And then she gives a great breakdown of yardage for all the different sizes for the kids sizes and the women's sizes and if you've never knit anything by Andrea Mowry you totally should her patterns are easy they're well written there's really nothing to fuss about they're very well done what's everybody's favorite I think we all know my favorite. Maybe Anna's. I would say that one on the Susan. end, but yeah. Are you the red? Yeah. Or the charcoal? It's really, it's a toss up between the yeah. red and the charcoal. Because the charcoal goes with all my neons. True. So I could wear like my ne a neon, one of my neon short sleeve tops and then make mm -hmm. a cardigan and put this over it. Okay. He's like, I'll ring you up. Okay, Hurry up. I will. <laughs> <laughs> Just tell me how many you need. Oh, oh the, the darker purple, right, Glenna? Isn't that gorgeous? It's a little bit mauve a little yeah. bit mommy. Okay, so let's go talk about some upcoming classes. We have the Twisted Headband class coming up tomorrow. Um, oh, my sample's at the back. Yeah, you better bind that off and have I it ready will. for I should have brought it out now. But there's two different headbands. You either knit one or crochet one. And then in class, we teach you the magic trick of seaming it. I showed Susan yesterday and she went, what? what? <laughs> How does that make that? And I'm like, well, you'll see. Because there's just something about it. It's like, excuse me while I fold a pretzel and then pull on it and then poof, it's a knot. Yeah, like, I, st I still don't get it. I'm going to have to. It's like that origami where you're like, how did one tiny piece of paper turn yeah, into right? an elephant? 
I have the cutest little ram on my desk. Somebody made me. I'm like, I have no idea how they did that. Uh, Lisa, or the kitties typing? <laughs> All then right. Coming up, uh, starting on Saturday, we have the February Lady Sweater Class. We have lots of people signed up for this one. Everybody's been coming and picking out their yarn. Lots of Rios, classy cashmere, some Noro. Uh, really fun top-down cardigan. Where in the first class we'll teach you the raglan shaping and the buttonholes. The second class will teach you how to divide for sleeves and start the lace pattern. And then in the third class we'll teach you how to pick the sleeves back up and work the lace pattern in the round instead of back and forth. And then voila, you know how to make the whole sweater. Then on Tuesday, October 18th, we have the Wonderland Crochet Shawl. Oh, we gotta bring this over still. Oh. Um, and it is a really fun technique using varying height stitches to create the look of short rows without actually doing short rows. Very fun pattern. We have two hours in class to teach you the six row repeat. Once you do it, you'll be like, this is so easy. I don't know why I didn't try it sooner. Um, you can do it with multiple colors like I did if you want it easy peasy with less ends to weave in. One of the 7 Series colorways of art yarns would be amazing. Yardage wise, I'm drooling over the thought of a skein of cashmere ombre. Oh, Electric yes, slide. right. Greek Isles. You know, yes. consciousness. Pre-work on that one. Chain 103. That way... You don't have to worry about trying to count while we're talking in class. <laughs> ready to go. Then on Friday the 21st, we have the Felicitations Wrap, which is a really fun tuck stitch pattern done in, this was done in one skein of cashmere ombre and two beaded silken sequins. You could do two merino clouds and we'll teach you how to do this really cool stitch that looks like little kind of butterflies on this side and bubbles on the knit side. So you get a totally reversible fabric, two completely different looks. So two wraps in one. Uh, and that's for the hand knitting class. If you are a machine knitter and want to learn how to do that same technique on the machine, you can join our class that's on Saturday, October 25th, and we will walk you through how to do everything on that one. Both classes have a little bit of pre-work of essentially cast on and do the first two rows because they're just knit a row, purl a row. And we want you to have time to get to the good stuff. Then on Saturday, October 22nd, we have the Gooseberry Hat, which is super fun. It is a bulky weight hat, so today's yarn would work if you wanted a soft, fluffy one. And you have a little bit of pre-work of knit 30 rounds. It's only 60 stitches. You can do it <laughs> in a night or two. Uh, and then in class, we'll teach you to do the color work pattern and how to fold the brim and tuck it up so that it's a double layer where there's no... So then you don't need any ribbing to make the edge not roll and it gives it that nice double thick fabric over the ears so it's nice and warm. Then last but not least, we have the St. Chapelle hat coming up on Friday, October 28th. If you wanna add one more technique to your color work skills, this is a great one because we'll go over the standard fair isle stuff, but what I love with this one is it starts with this it's called corrugated ribbing, but it's basically ferrile wall your ribbing. So you get this beautiful look where the color work is throughout and there's no like solid border. It's just stained glass everywhere, basically. So we'll teach you how to do all of that in class. That one takes two colors of worsted weight yarn. Um, classy cashmere has lots of good variegated that would be good for your main color. Oh yeah, Lisa's kittens are going crazy. <laughs> um, and then we'll talk about what we're wearing. So let me pop the links in here real quick. 
One more quick look at the colors. All the pretty colors. Okay, so I am wearing a top called Jerule. It was originally a classic elite pattern, but it's still available on Ravelry. I don't know if it reverts back to the designers or if the owners of classic elite just still get a little passive income, which is kind of awesome. We were all sad that they closed. Um, and really easy. You actually do the body of the sweater and then you do this little yoke at the end. So your bind off is here, which is nice. Hmm. This is one of the times where bind offs being tight is amazing because it pulls the neck in and keeps it from stretching out and ending up something that falls off your shoulders. The only thing with this one, change the number of rows that you do mm. for the armhole, like <laughs> the depth that it says, take off like two inches. Cause I had to add this little panel here cause there's a little too much <laughs> visible to the world when I tried this one on. But I'd already knit all the lace and was like, yeah, I'm not going back. No. I refuse. Sometimes you just find ways to make it work because you're like, no, I'm not ripping it out. So how can I fix it? And then Susan is wearing, that matches your sweater today really well too. I know. It's like I planned that. I can't dress myself very well, you guys. It was too hot to wear it. Delphia. I was going to call it a different flower name, and that's not it. By D. O'Keefe. Nice little crescent. Crescents are my favorite because when you drape them over your shoulders, you get this really cute little. You get a, little you get a curly, curly cue. Q thing going on. And so. they just naturally want to do that. You don't have to block it with a curl. They no. just hang out that way. You block it this way. You actually curl it that way because that's what. You can only do with it. Yeah, it only wants to go in like a C. Yeah, pretty much. But some nice garter stitch with little bands of stock in it. I believe this was a double yarn over with a knit one pearl one into it. Looks like it. Yeah. And then a pretty Pico bind off. Super fun. Two colors of fingering because that's what I do. She's a skinny yarnaholic. Yep. All right, you guys. I think that's going to be it. Um, let me make sure I didn't miss any questions here in the last few. I think we're good. All right. So we're going to clean up our video stuff and open the store. We're open 11 to 5. We have the machine knitting class from 12 to 2. Um, and we'll start pulling anybody's orders from this morning's video. So thank you guys so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye.